Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Salala Oman in southern Oman. Today I'm going to show you how traditional Salala food is cooked. If you guys don't know how it works here in Oman, they start cooking food for lunch at 8.30 in the morning. So by 11, 11.30 it's all prepared, so when people come in, it's ready, they don't have to wait. And uh, yeah, right here, they're actually bringing the meat. Okay, here we go. The meat's right here. All right, look at this. Oh wow, is this camel? Camel, camel meat. Camel meat, amazing. Look at that guys, huge carcasses coming out of here. Massive piece of camel meat. Khaled, how you doing? Hi, good morning David, how the are you? The king, the king. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so, uh, how does it work here? How, like, they start cooking at 8.30 in the morning, right? Yeah, they start about half past 8. They start to prepare for the food, for lunch. They cook uh, the meat and different type of rice. They can prepare for the lunch time. Around half past 11, they will be ready to be able to start for lunch. Around 12 o'clock, to be all things ready for lunch. And over here, this is a huge camel carcass. Look at this, guys. Over here we have the liver, we have the legs, we have the shoulders. Look at these ribs, massive ribs. Just want to let you guys know there's four different types of camels. Racing camel, beauty pageant camel, milking camel, and meat camel. So these are literally bred for meat. Just letting you guys know that. Wow, look at the amount of fat here. The fat, yeah. That's the hump. That's the hump? Yeah. One of the most unique things about Salala is the way they cook their meat they do it on stones look at this on stones so what is this a lamb yeah roast meat we cook by uh, on the stones we call it mavabi in our language the local language mavabi this is very popular food in the far region so it's gas right gas under then they add stones on top the official one they use it by fires with the wood for one time to cook but this is a restaurant for all the day they cook meat they need also like gas to keep the fires warm and they cook all the days on the fire like yeah, on the stones. So it's a barbecue and then they just add rocks and they keep adding rocks. They'll take this off at the end of the day and they'll add more rocks tomorrow, right? Yeah. Keep changing. Day. And every day they change the, the rocks, every day they clean rocks. Daily they finish all the time that they clean them and they finish the other ones every day. What do you call it? Tart. Tart. Yeah, this is a local language. This is like also like stomachs together, with your heart, liver, a little bit uh, fat. And they cook also like mother. This is truly amazing. Never seen a barbecue like this in my life. Wow. I mean, it is unreal. You got the ribs right there. You have stomach. You have the head. You have the legs. And you have uh, like all the organs wrapped in intestines, very similar to the way they do it in Greece and in Turkey. Over there it's called Kovoretsi. Here, um, I don't know the exact name, but it is exactly the same thing, right? The aroma coming out of here, you have no idea. And this meat only has salt and maybe some pepper. That's it. He was just telling me the way they start this, we, unfortunately we missed it, is they grab that layer of fat and they coat the rocks. So you have rocks with fat and then they add all the meat. And this is lamb, of course, small baby lamb. So good. Oh, look at this. That right there is kokoretsi. I don't think I've ever seen barbecue cooked this fast. Like, this is so quick. Look at that. Oh, the kidneys. Oh, nice and yummy. That's the best, man. All the organs. So, so quick. I mean, it took like 15 minutes for him to cook this entire lamb. He started off with the legs, then I pulled off the kidney. He's moving around the stomach and also the kokoretsi, which are like the organs wrapped with intestines. And the ribs, I mean, the ribs are so good. It smells amazing with the rocks. Ooh, and lightly spiced, lightly spiced. Almost nothing, just salt. This guy's like getting in there. Oh man, straight in the smoke. I don't know how he does it. He's literally inside the smoke right now. Oh, too much, too much. You okay? Hot, hot. Yeah, very hot. How's it going? How's the stomach going? So he was telling me the stomach is the one that's going to take the longest. It's going to take like almost an hour for that to cook. Right now he's taking off kokoretsi or he's flipping it, right? So you can see nice and charred, beautiful, nice and smoky. Oh man, guys, this is unreal. I've never seen this before. What an experience here. It just starts so early that you don't get to see it unless you get to a restaurant this early, 8.30 in the morning. I'm surprised it's like this. It's, it's weird, right? Like it shouldn't it be like while they're doing it. I guess because people already have orders, right? So this is like one order, it's another order. So they'll keep making more and more. So he has four lambs right here, literally just hanging right there. A big meat feast. 
They love their meat here in Oman. So he's gonna add some more rocks to where it already cooked. Look, just adding more rocks. Oh, so now he's adding mishkak. Beautiful. Cooking mishkak right on these rocks. I didn't know they did that. Mishkak is their street food. I had it a few times over Muscat. It's basically fat, lamb cubes, fat, more lamb cubes, fat. That's what it is, on a stick, right? So like a skewer. Almost like a kebab, a little different, but basically the same thing. It's lightly spiced, they always add some salt. I mean, it smells amazing. The aroma coming off of this is only felt right here. You won't feel this anywhere else in the world because they're cooking it with rocks, rocks. Who would have thought you can actually put rocks on a grill like this? Here he has kokoretsi. Look at this, he's gonna cut me a piece. Oh my gosh. Is that rocks? That's the rocks? Oh man, the rocks are stuck to it. Oh my gosh. What do you call this one? Masalam. Masalam. I can't get it, but it's okay. So hot, some tea. Okay. Shakran. Oh. And right here, guys, they are cutting up the camel. Wow, that is camel ribs right there, camel ribs. So my friend here is going to gift me this kokoretsi. He's like, you got to try it. Hey, chokaran, chokaran, chokaran. We have a little bit. You want to try? You try. I will try, I will try. This is like a sensory overload right here. We're going to eat kokoretsi. So it's pretty amazing. We're going to eat this and watch the camel, all the meat being cut up behind me. Butchers, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think this is actually stomach. So it's different. It's not kokoretsi. Mm -hmm. So it's stomach wrapped with intestines. Oh my gosh. So fresh. Mmm. Nice and chewy. Oh my gosh, it tastes amazing very full of iron. So this is stomach wrapped with intestines plus a little bit of fat. Yeah. I'll say I've never had an experience like this. Watching them grill it and then watching the camel being like butchered in front of me. Now they will cook this one from one kind of cooks. They call it mokome. <clears throat> okay. They cook meat a little bit fat without water. I know it's a little graphic watching this over here but this is real life. This is how people live here. You know, they eat meat. Meat is a big part of Oman. It's like number one thing. It's like meat and rice always. So just prepare for it. If you are vegetarian, if you're sensitive to these things, I completely understand. But if not, just like, in, you know, enjoy it because it's an experience. Rice? That's supposed to be rice. So next up, rice. So what type of rice is this? Just white rice. But it has some, some leaves in there. Okay. Almost like biryani. Oh. Wow, what is that one? Zorbian. 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 It's spicy, yeah. So I had Zorbian in Muscat, but this one looks amazing. I mean, it's like coated with this, like, it's like red gravy on top, right? Yeah. Smells almost like biryani. Very similar, obviously. And this is what it's like in the morning here in Oman. Every morning, the restaurants do it like this. All the ones that are cooking big portions of meat, they do this, right? They cook, they butcher, they get it all ready for noon, for lunch, for you guys. Okay, mishkak, right here, mishkak. Of course this is mishkak. I was just trying to see if he had a different name for it because it's a mountain language you're completely different from Arabic. Oh, it smells amazing. I can't wait for lunch, man. Lunch is gonna be awesome. David, this is a stuffed stomach. Call it tart in our uh, accent or language, mountain language. Stuffed stomach. Stuffed stomach. This is gonna be my first time trying stuffed stomach. Oh, with the bread. Okay, nice, nice. Hey, chokran, chokran. So you take out the stick? Yeah, it's so hot. Oh, it looks super hot. Just cooked for one hour. Oh, you like burning your hand there. So you have all the organs in there, right? Yeah. Well, so you got fat. I think you have the kidney and the liver in there? Liver, heart. I've never seen it like this before in a stomach. First time, so I've done it like in, like I said, like in, in Turkey and in uh, Greece, they have the same thing, but with wrapped with intestines, yeah. not stuffed stomach. Yeah, but this by the stomach, no. Amazing. That difference. So hot. 
Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Nice light pita bread. Let's go in here. Try as much as we could. Oh, still so hot. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my god, the mix of organs here. Mm -hmm. Super soft. Mm hmm. Very smoky, but at the same time, I love this. The bread is nice and light, very fluffy. This is an exotic dish, but it is absolutely incredible. Mm. The oils. Yeah. The fat. About right. Oh, look at this. Put it all up. <laughs> so much in here. So I grab this piece. Cheers. Look how much fat you got. Oh. This is like one of my favorite breakfasts ever. <laughs> Good breakfast. And very oily, right? And that's not oil. That's pure fat. Yeah. Just like the oils of the fat. Mmm. Oh, amazing. So you do have pieces of everything in here. Yeah. Where's the heart? Oh, it's like sticky. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, for me, the experience is eating this while hearing the guys cut up the camel. Yeah. I know some people are going to think like, wow, that's a little crazy or that's very, very, you know, exotic. But this is what life is here, right? This is how you guys do this. Every morning, same procedure, right? Also, afternoons, we'll be finished for after lunch, I'll get the start. Wow, that's so good. The rest of it, I don't even know how we get it. It's gotta get in here because it sticks to the stomach, right? Like that. Oh, maybe a little piece. Mm -hmm. We finish it. No, oh, there's some pieces in here. Like that. You can eat the whole thing. Like for me, when I eat barbecue, I'm like, just give me organs. Way tastier. Way more earthy. 10 15 in the morning, watching them cook up a storm here. Oh man, it is. How are you? How good you? I think that's the heart right there. Everything's stuck to the stomach. Literally, just gonna go in here and pull off. Pull as much as you can. And then get some more bread. Like this. Cow bunch. Mm -hmm. Eating the stomach straight like this is absolutely delicious. Okay. Is it okay? Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. I'll do that. Just put it inside here. Make a stomach organ taco. Oh yeah. I love is like no spices here. Just a little bit of salt. Yeah, a little bit of salt just. What's up? Mm. It's like you're gonna love this food. I'm like, I know I will. I know. Mmm. Then just soak up the, the oils. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's done. That's my lunch. <laughs> okay, so we bought a bunch of meat for tonight. So we're gonna have a camel meat dinner. And over here we have like basically big strips of camel. They dice them up, you have some fat and you have also meat and they're gonna hang it here and dry it now. Personally, you love dried meat. You do too? You like dried meat? Yeah. It's really good, right? More tasty. Yeah, more tasty, thicker, you know, obviously dry, no moisture. And then probably gonna add some spices, maybe, right? No spices. From the water, it's more dry, it's more tasty. Okay, okay. So just, just the water. 
Florida. Yeah, I'm from Florida. You? I'm from Bangladesh. Bangladesh from Dhaka? Chitong. Chitong. So he's from the second largest city in Bangladesh, right on the coast, right there, right? right? You have tigers near you. I know there's tigers in that area. So I've never tried dry camel meat before, but I'm guessing it's very similar to beef jerky, but he's saying they're not adding spices. This is purely sun, sun-dried beef or sun-dried camel meat, right? And this strip, look at this, the fat, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be almost like chicharron, like pork rinds. Nice and crispy, crackling, mm-hmm. It's gonna be good. Because I've been mesmerized by all the meat, I haven't had a chance to show you the restaurant yet. And this is it, right? So one big dining hall. You have three traditional seating areas. So you have these two back to back, very, very long. And over here you have this one, more like a square, this one. Now those are like more like rectangles. And over here we have four tables. You know, very cozy, traditional, high ceilings. All right, let's see what else we see here. I guess we're waiting for the camel to be done so we can throw it into the pots. Okay, we're going back into the kitchen to see them making more rice. So different rice? Yeah, cook up fish. Well, it's a idea. Fish, rice with fish. The first they make cook fish. When they get wrapped red, they take the fish out and they cook rice with salt together. So what's this one? What's the idea? They cook meat with the, what we call it, actually, without a little bit water. Too many water, little bit water. So with curry? Yeah, it is all together. So that also has tomato, it has onions, and then over here he's gonna add some, oh, you're adding that, spices into there, okay. So he added some spices, nice. Okay, so now he's mixing up the beef with the onions, tomatoes, and the spices. Sorry guys, not beef, camel. Everything here is camel. It's camel and lamb, that's it. So he just added some salt, and he's mixing it up. Mm-hmm. Wow, it looks good. So my friend here is too funny. He's like, you want to try green chili? I'm like, I don't know. It's hot. <laughs> Why do I always do it? Because I love it. So good. Oh, spicy. So we just added the green chilies. Make it nice and spicy. Okay, so the fish is now ready. He's taking all the fish out, putting on this plate. Slowly does it, he doesn't just pull it all out. He goes very, very slowly. After that, he's gonna add the rice into this fish broth, right? So you add the rice here, and then do you add the fish on top? Yes. And then the fish on top? Yes. Okay, got it. So instead of covering the fish with the rice, he's gonna literally let the rice soak up the broth, then add the fish on top, and that is, uh, what's the name of the dish? Yeah, siadia. Siadia. Ah, are we siadia? Siadia. So siadia is the rice dish, right? Rice with fish. And the rice is basically soaking up lots of amazing fish broth. Mmm. You guys have no idea. The aroma coming out of here, spicy. I can smell the spice. Yeah. And as you can see, the rice is absorbing that fish broth. There's chilies in there. The aroma is amazing. And now what he's going to do is he's going to cover the vat with this huge top, and that's it. We're gonna wait 20 minutes and that'll be ready. They're also taking all the rice out from the other vats. Woo, it's too hot in here. Yeah, so you can see, lots of rice, so many rice dishes here. We got one, two, three, and we also have a lot of camel, lots of fish, and I'm ready. What's this, like a spicy chutney? Mokali. Mokali. Meat with a lot of fat without water, and a little bit salt. Here with a lot of fat, a little bit of water, so basically the, the moisture that comes out of here is the oil. So is adding salt? Yeah. This camel meat is gonna cook for one hour. All they added was salt and some water. He just covered it, he's gonna let it simmer for an entire hour. Whew, I have to get out of this kitchen. It is way too hot. My man, I don't know how you're here all day. Spicy camel gravy. Hmm. This with some rice, it's gonna be great. All right, let's go relax and wait for another 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes later, we're throwing the fish in to the rice. Wow, guys, this rice looks amazing. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I was going to add some tomatoes. Beautiful. Some bell peppers and some lemon. A mix of vegetables. You get the chili in there. The aroma just hits you hard. It's like... Ooh, very fishy. At the same time, nice gravy. Ooh, 
So big, it smells spicy. Oh, you're gonna add more chilies. It's gonna make it even more spicier. Way more spicier. It's been a process. It's gonna be great though. All right, let's go, let's go. I mean, we just came back in the kitchen to see the camel meat and the fat. As you can see, it's like, it's like crystallizing in a way. You know, you smell it. Okay, so everything's basically ready. We're gonna eat lunch very soon. I'm starving. You know, I had some organs earlier, but I'm still really hungry now. Wow. Yeah, it's just sizzling, huh? Nice, it almost looks like beef fry. Yeah. Very similar. So much fat, so much fat. The whole thing is fat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of cholesterol in here, but it's okay. It's once in a lifetime, once. This for me? Yeah. Amazing. Okay, chocolate. Okay, so you ready for this? Yeah, so we got two different rices. We have camel. We have some mixed veg here. So that's like a chutney. Here we have arugula, we have dates, and we have onions. Looks good. Are you ready? We've been, we've been waiting for a while for this one. We waited for Sabbath. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. So this is camel and mutton. Yeah, this and is lamb. This guy. That's camel. And that's one mother bee. This is the grills and the stones. Yalla. How do we start? Whatever you want. Rice. Rice? I guess Go we'll ahead. start with rice, okay? Go ahead. We're gonna throw some of that on the top? Or? Yeah, why not? That's a stock, right? Soap, yeah. When you boil the meat, mm -hmm. you get the soap back. Yeah, so it's beef or camel stock, right? Yalla, yeah. yalla. Yalla, yalla. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yalla, this guy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, super tender caramel. Mm-hmm. Well, that is some Not spicy. Mmm. So we have three different rices here. No, four different rices. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, which one is which? Mmm. There's more like a biryani. This one. No. Liver. Good one. Oh, heaven. Mmm. So much iron. Mmm. Nice and dense. I'm gonna get in here. Yeah, Mix it with the rice. Hello? I wish I understood Arabic. You asked me, why don't you eat the rice? Oh, he eats only bread. Mmm. I'm loving this rice. Good appetite. Mm hmm I'm gonna give it chili. Really? Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, spicy. And this is all um, lamb? Yeah, this is the good one. Not a bit. Mmm. Ground the rocks. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and smoky. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Amazing. One thing you have to do when you're eating like this, communal style, is you dig in from here and you keep going to the center. Yeah. You don't go to the sides. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Super. And so this, this one is camel? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Yeah. Nice and lean. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have the camel meat and then you have fat. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, Miskak. Love it. You like it? Love it. What I like about Miskak is that you eat many of them. It's not too much meat. Not too much meat. Like my number. Mm -hmm. So drink or want water? Water. Pani. Yeah. Wow. So many miskaks. So many miskaks, guys. And I have to ask you, this is the one we saw on the side? On the side? Yeah, this is one with the fat. This is with the fat, with the water. Mm -hmm. The other one, this is with the spicy. This one, very similar to beef fry, 
in Kerala, India. Nice and chewy. Almost. Almost like a like a beef jerky. I'm gonna try different rice over here. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Kapsa? Oh, Aboli. Aboli. It's good. Very nice this one. I like it stickier. They're gonna move it for me? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Nice. Mm. So good. I love that this is traditional. The way you guys eat. Mm -hmm. All together. Enjoy conversation. Mm -hmm. Eat from the same plate. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Literally, like that. Like that. This is a yeah? Yeah, it makes it. No, use this fingers. No, push it in. Push it. And hold them like that together. Mm hmm. Ah. And push it. Like that? Right. Okay. So he does it like, like backwards almost. like. Don't open your fingers when you want to move. Don't open them. Don't open them. Close them to hold the rice. So close like that, make it nice and tight. It's hard. I'm like losing everything here. I love that it's never just one rice. It's always a few different combinations, right? Mmm. So good. This one's sticky. This one's spices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And over here we have like a mix of, looks like a gravy, right? Like camel gravy. Mm -hmm. Try a little bit of this one. Yeah. So that should get some more meat. And some fat. What do you think? Yeah, go ahead. Mm. Oh, with the camel stock? Amazing. Oh man, camel so good. So lean. So what, you want me to try this one? I'll take the dog and Should I just alone? I'm gonna throw some of this on top though. Nice, spicy. Amazing. Got a spicy salsa. Get some more cam. Mm. Tiny cubes. Oh. The liver. Which type of rice do you like it? You prefer? Okay, so I prefer the stickier one. Yeah. This one's nice. It's light. There's some um, black pepper in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the meat? It's a hard one. I think the camel in its own fat yeah. is part of the best. But I love the mishkak. Mm -hmm. Of course, just regular lamb. Mm -hmm. And then these pieces are just like straight fat, yeah. right? It's a big fat. Mm. So good. Nice and smoky. The rocks. Mm -hmm. Wow, maybe just dip it in here. Of course, soak it up with some of that spiciness. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. The spice is great. I haven't even tried this. The sour hack of the meat. Mm -hmm. The sour what? It's called the sour. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is that? Amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Maybe another piece? The hate me. The hate me. The look like the onions. Mm -hmm. The onions. Look at it. And the rice. No rice? Mm -hmm. Chop it up in here? Also the dates, also. With the rice? Yeah. With the rice? You know, the dates have like, okay. Open it, yeah. Yeah, open it. Yeah. Take out the seed right there. Without onions. Without onions. Okay. Like that. Okay, start to this. Mmm. Nice and sugary. Mm hmm They give you full power. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, it's amazing date. Nice and sweet. Like, extremely sweet. Wow. Mmm. man. Coffee and dates. King. Mm-hmm. That's a great meal. I think I'm done. <laughs> I was done, but my friend here is like, you gotta try the lamb. Is this is lamb feet. Mm -hmm. No. Lamb leg. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lots of meat in here with that. So much meat. I'm okay with that. I like going here. Get more rice.
ET restaurant number 10. We had an incredible feast here. We saw them grilling with rocks, saw a whole lamb. Then we went into the kitchen. We saw them, you know, making a few different rice dishes with fish. We saw the camel mixed with its own fat. And then we saw them literally butchering the camel outside. I mean, it's a huge process. The guys were doing that for hours. It's like nonstop, just cutting it up, making it into small little dices, and then making these dishes, right? Yeah. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Salala. I mean, maybe one more mishkak. One more. Yeah. Where's the camel one? Camel. This is camel. That's camel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is more tender. Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Small little dices. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the spoon.